So thank you for joining back to this second video in this series where we're going to draw up this dovetail draw from start to finish. So in the first video we kind of got our four boards sort to length and put them together. In this one we are going to actually place a bottom because like I said a draw without a bottom is pretty useless. So what we're going to start out with is putting a small groove around the bottom edge all the way around that the bottom can kind of sit in. You've probably seen that on your own sock draw. So let's go in and model that in. So I'm going to use kind of like the same tools as I used before. I'm going to go and make the front panel active and I'm actually just going to go ahead and hide the other panels. I don't need those right now. I'm going to spin our model around here and I'm going to open up a sketch on the inside of this front panel. Create sketch. Zoom out a little. And again, I'm going to use the two point rectangle. I'm going to hit the S key. I'm going to hit the two point rectangle. And be aware of the feedback that you're getting when you're hovering over edges. So right now you get a rectangle. That means that the sketch will be tied into that corner. You will see I get a cross, which just tells me it's going to make a coincident. Now if I move up to the midpoint, you'll actually see that it changes to a triangle. Now I just want to make sure that I only have an X here. I don't want to tie it either to the bottom or to the midpoint. I'm just going to left click. I'm just going to sketch over here, somewhere over here, make sure I don't grab the midpoint, but somewhere down here. And now I can put some dimensions in. So I'm going to hit D for dimension. And it's going to come up from the bottom here, 0.375. And I'm going to make the bottom of this one a quarter inch thick. So two lines and make it 0.25. That's going to be the thickness right there. And now I can go and use the press pull again. Move it over here and hit Q and I'm just going to select that slot right there and we're going to make it an eighth of an inch deep. So minus 0.125. And now you will see that we have that slot right there for our bottom panel. We're going to repeat this to do that on the right panel. So I'm going to turn the right panel back on and I'm going to make it active. I'm going to spin it around here. And what I want to do is I'm going to leave the front panel visible because I want to use that groove we just used as a reference. So again, I'm tying everything together. So I'm going to right click to open up a sketch. It's going to go normal to here. And if you're looking, you can see the front panel is kind of like visible here. So I'm going to do another two point rectangle as key. And I'm just going to again make sure that I'm get somewhat close. It's not really too important here. Because I'm going to use relationship to tie these down. So when I zoom in here, what I want is I want this line to be aligned with the edge from our front panel. So I'm going to use the column here for that again. I'm going to click column here. Select the blue line. Select the edge here. And I'm going to use the blue line to the edge here. Now those are tied in, spin around a little bit. And again, my rule before I use press pull, I'm going to turn off the front panel because if not, I would actually could cut into the front panel. So I'm going to go ahead here and hit the Q and do a press pull right there. Same thing as before, minus 1.25 and there's that slot. Now, the left panel and the back panel is going to be the same as the front panel and the right panel we just used. So I'm going to introduce you to another cool command in the sketch dialog. So let me switch over and turn on the left panel. So that appears over here. And then I'm going to make that active. So really what we want is this slot from the right panel over on the left panel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up a sketch where I want that cut to be. So I'm going to right click, create sketch. I'm just going to spin around here because it always goes normal too. I'm just going to zoom in on our right panel where we have our cut. Again, I'm going to hit the S key. Now I'm going to use a command called project. So I'm going to start typing that in, P-R-O, and there you can see the project command. So I'm going to select that. 
Now I'm not going to select any edges. I'm going to make sure I select the face of that cut we just did in the right panel. I'm going to click on that. And then when I look over on the left panel, you will see that we just projected the right panel over to the left panel. So that was easy. Now before I do this cut, I'm going to make up the habit of turning off the right panel. Hit Q, select this, and go minus 1.75. Now we're going to do the same thing with the back panel as we just did from the right to the left panel. So I am going to go and turn the back panel on. I'm going to make that active. Okay, and then I'm going to turn off the left panel because I really don't need that on. Turn on the front panel because I want that slot over in the back panel. So I'm going to spin around here. I'm going to right click to create a new sketch. Spin it around here so we can see it. And again, hit the S key, start typing in project. Select that face right there. Just left click. And we can see that that gets projected over there. Now, before we do the press pull, turn off the front panel, hit Q, select that face, go minus 0.125. Now, let's see what we have done here. If we turn everything back on and we turn the active component to be the top, our main draw, we can now see that we have the slots going all the way through each of the different boards as we're working through here. Again, just like before, we did this parametrically. Okay, so that was why we didn't just draw with all the dimensions. But again means that if I go in now to our first sketch down here for the front panel, right click, edit sketch. If I change this depth of the draw to two and a half, go out of the sketch, you will now see that we move that channel up on all of them. So again, I'm using this parametric modeling to assure that everything kind of like follows one another, assuring that three weeks from now or six months when a customer calls and asks for a change, you don't have to go through and try to find out where was all the dimensions that, that drove everything in there. And you just have a few that you need to deal with. Like I said, I'm considering this kind of like a little advanced and I wouldn't blame anybody from kind of like not doing this to begin with. But I want you to know that that's what you're aiming for and I know you will get there. Go back and change that sketch one more time. Get it back to 375. So that is the power of parametric. Now where we have the slot, I am ready to draw up the bottom panel. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to turn that on. Activate it. Everything else is now going to be transparent. And I'm going to do what we did with each side. I'm going to draw this in relationship with the slot. So if the slot changes, this bottom panel will follow along. So I'm going to go back into my front panel. I'm just going to zoom in here. I'm going to open a new sketch up here on the ribbon bar. I'm just going to make sure that I select that face of the bottom of the slot. It's going to go normal too. That's why it jumps around. So I'm just going to zoom out again. Your middle mouse button, the shift key down, you can do that. And then I'm actually going to go in and use that project command to steal all the edges of where that panel will be. So I'm going to hit S, project. Are you familiar with that command? And now I'm just going to make sure that I select that right edge at the bottom right there of each slot. That one, move over, select the bottom edge. And if this is a little confusing, just hang on a second. You'll see what I'm talking about. And I need to get the last one down here. So now I have the four edges of the bottom inside of that slot. So I'm ready to extrude that up. So I'm going to turn the other ones off. Just like that. Hit the Q command. Select that face and that's going to be a quarter inch thick. So 
There's that panel. Now if we turn everything back on and activate the top component, you will now see we have that bottom there. But there's one thing we need to do. Because this is a new component, that thing can float around. Control Z to undo. So we just got to remember to do another as-built joint. And it doesn't really matter which one of the other components we built joint with. I'm going to select the front panel because that was kind of like my, my first sketch here. Hit OK. And now you have just drawn up the first, the kind of the base of this draw. So finally, we got a kind of like the frame for our draw here. And now we're actually ready to go in and start sketching up the dovetails uh, that we need to kind of like assemble all the pieces together. Just a quick uh, little break here for you. Just stretch your legs, you know, get comfortable. And we will get into some cool sketching. See you in a bit.